Kimberly with the Fat Quarter Shop and today we're with Jill Finley of Jalili Studios and she's going to show us how we machine applique. We've already prepped our pieces in our previous video and so tell me what are our first steps in our machine applique? Okay, so in order to do the machine applique we basted this down just like we did for hand applique but we're going to do a one more step. Because um, in the hand applique, when we have these little extra flags of fabric sticking out, we tuck those under by hand with the needle as we're stitching. But on machine applique, we need to tuck those under now. So I just use my awl and tuck it under, put a little drop of glue there to hold it, so that when we go to the machine, all of our flags are tucked in. Drop of glue. And you're using your apple glue for uh -huh. that? And that's just going to baste it. It's not permanent. It's just going to hold it. And it's really important. Um, when we're machine appliquing that we use the glue because we, the pieces won't shift then as we're turning around under the machine. When I do machine stitching, I use a monofilament thread on the top and that's a clear thread. I've got the machine loaded with this clear thread. It's a nylon thread and there's many brands. You can use whatever brand you like. And then in my bobbin I have my regular RFL thread. It's a cotton long staple Egyptian cotton. First thing I do when I use a monofilament thread is I turn my tension to zero. Um, at least on my machine it needs to be zero. You might need a little bit of tension, but very little because it will pucker and it stretches. It's very stretchy because it's nylon, so you want that tension to be off. And then the second thing is we're going to use a zigzag stitch. So I set it to zigzag, okay, put my machine on zigzag, and we're going to use a very narrow zigzag and very short. So I set the stitch length to one on this machine and um, the width to one also. And what type of foot and needle do you have in? Okay, so the needle, I, I used a thinner needle than I normally would use because I'm using the, the monofilament thread. So I used a size 70. And then the foot is this, um, it's a foot number one on the Bernina, which is a, an open uh, width so that you can zigzag. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take my piece and slide it under the machine bed. And I'm going to drop my needle down. I want to drop the zag which is to the right of the needle, into the background fabric. So you can see my needle goes down right into the background fabric, right next to the applique piece. It's right up against it. Then I'll put my foot down. So it jumps over into the applique piece, and then the needle will jump back into the background. Over onto the applique piece, and back into the background. Now I'm just going to start stitching. I go kind of slow so that I can get around this curve. Are you guiding oh, yes. the, the, the center line on that foot with the pink edge? Well, going around a curve, you can't really, but um, when you're on a straight, you want your needle to drop down into the background when it's on this side and into the applique piece when it's on this so side. So you're really just watching this section, I'm not watching, this section? I'm watching my actual needle. Okay. Um, and actually, there we go. When I get to the point, I'm going to drop the needle down into the applique piece on the very, let's go one more time, right into the very tip, tip of the applique, turn around and go down this way. And now it's going to go back over into the background and then onto the applique. Backstitch a couple stitches and then you're done. Okay, so now I have stitched these two petals, and I did one with the um, monofilament thread so that it's invisible and you can't see the stitching, but just so that you could see it, I did one with black thread on this petal. And um, you can see that on the very edge I've got, I've zigged over here onto the applique piece and zag into the background, zig, zag, zig, zag, like that, so that my needle, when I'm in the background, is right next to the applique piece, but in the background. Now, if we were going to stitch on black, what color thread would we use? Okay, we would still use a monofilament because we want it to be invisible, but we would use the smoke color, which is the darker color, and it doesn't have as much shine. And I use that on any dark colors. So I use the smoke color, and if it's light, I use the, the clear. The clear. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for showing us this machine applique. I cannot wait to try it. Make sure you watch all of Jill's applique videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you.